Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing a tutorial over a super cute slouchy cardigan. Um, that's what we call it, but the pattern is actually from Patterns for Pirates. And the kid version of this pattern is called the Butterfly Cardigan. Just the kids version goes from 3 months up to girls 14. And then there's the Cocoon Cardigan, which is the women's version. And it is the extra, extra small up to 3X in women's. You can on the Patterns for Pirates website. We'll link it down below, of course, as always. We link our patterns in the description. Click the arrowhead on the right right hand side this is my left this is your right the right hand side click the arrowhead and um the link to the pattern will be there in the description pattern for pirates does offer a bundle so if you know you're going to be making like mommy and me instead of buying each pattern individually per size you can bundle them together and get the bundle for the butterfly and the cocoon which is the kids the girls version and the women's version so that's pretty awesome that they do that I think that you save a little bit if you bundle it like that um, but for this pattern we are going to be doing the tunic length because there are multiple links there is a crop length I believe and a tunic length and we're going to be doing the tunic length with short cuff for long sleeve so you'll have to cut this pattern piece there's a dark black line um, that says short cuff long sleeve so make sure you cut that because there is a tall cuff line as well or if you just want to do hem sleeves and no cuffs at all i like the cuffs i just i despise hemming so i'm going to add a cuff wherever i can add a cuff so we're adding cuffs to this and then the also the great thing about this is it has bands that go all the way around the entire cardigan which is great so you have to print those those or you don't have to print those i'm sorry <laughs> you have to cut those and that the cuff information and the band information is all included in the cut chart within the pattern so for your size go to that cut chart go to your size and then what you're needing so for this pattern if you're following along you're going to need the short cuff long sleeve measurements for your size that you're doing i'm going to be doing a 4t because it's an order that i got to get out and then we are going to be doing the short band i do like to add a little bit a little bit more just because my ruler is five inches so I go ahead and do five inch bands just because it's easier for me to just go ahead and cut um, my ruler size but the band actually is um, you'll have a front and a back the back will be the bottom of this cardigan once we get it put together the back is the bottom part and then the front will be the whole loop from here around the neck to the other side here so the front band piece is really long and the back band piece is pretty short but it helps you to even up everything to get it to go on the band and then so the back piece you cut on the fold like any old piece cut it on the fold right here make sure you're paying attention to your grain line and your stretch patterns for pirates gives you both the grain line and the stretch so that's really um, awesome that they do that so make sure you're paying attention to that otherwise the garment will not fit if you cut this uh, wrong here's the front piece this is cut on a mirrored image. So basically do it like you're gonna do a fold. Fold the piece over, the best way to get a mirrored image. Fold your fabric and then put this down to where there's fabric on all sides. And then you cut it all around the pattern piece. And you have two mirrored images like that. All right. And then you'll need two sleeves and that's a folded piece here. And then you will need your cuffs and your two band pieces, which are, like I said, included in the cut chart. So let's see what I've already got cut out here. I've already got cut out are, of course, the pieces that were included in the pattern, the pattern pieces. You got the sleeve here cut on a fold. That's what it looks like opened up. That's what it looks like opened up. So you have two of those. And I'm just using waffle knit. I believe I got this one from, I think I got this from Knit Pop. I don't think they have it anymore. The waffle, you can find that pretty much anywhere. Um, here's the back piece opened. It was cut on the fold. And here are the two mirrored images of this. Cut right here and right here. And I've kind of just already kind of got them right sides together. For this particular pattern, I am doing the fuzzy side, the brushed side, as the right side. Uh, with brushed and non or with brushed waffle, in like a brush sweater if it's the print on both sides you get to pick your preference um, there's really no right or wrong way it's completely up to you if you want the brush side to be on the inside or the outside it's up to you so oops, I put this one down wrong I want these. 
the breast to be the right side. And we are gonna put these right sides together here, like this. And like this. So I've gone right sides together and we'll do the shoulder seam here in just a moment. But until then, that's what that looks like. We've got our sleeve pieces. And then we got our cuff pieces here, which for the 14, my cuff piece was I believe 4.5 to um, this way and the stretch is 6.5. So I've got my cuff pieces and you'll finish those off with the ham hot method. It's called ham hot method because you fold it like this, which is hamburger. And then you fold it like this, which is hot dog. And so it's called the ham hot method. And then you do the same thing. I folded it hamburger and I'm gonna fold it hot dog now. All right, so there is our cuffs. And then you always surge or zigzag stitch the edge with all of the raw edges together. So not this first folded edge, because that's the first fold we did. This edge here, you always fold that, or you always do that one. Okay. And then we have our back cuff piece, which is gonna be about this. As you can see, it's about the length of the, the back of the piece here, you can see that. And then our front cuff piece, which is really long, and that's gonna go for the entire neck all the way down to here. So it's gonna go like that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do the shoulder seams here and here, and then we're gonna attach the uh, sleeves in just a moment. So let's go ahead and do that. And then also make sure you're putting it right sides together. You're gonna prepare your cuff piece here which is gonna be just like this. You're gonna put right sides together. You're gonna to do one side here. This is one side of the cuff. And then of course, you'll come over here, match this side up, and then zigzag stitch or serge right here. I'm gonna do a serge just because I find that easier. Um, you can do whatever you need to do to get this done. But the best part is just to go ahead, serge here and here to get this cuff piece dealt with. And I'm I'm gonna go ahead and serge. If you don't have a serger, you can absolutely use just a typical zigzag stitch um, on your sewing machine. I'm gonna go ahead and use my serger to do the shoulder seams here and I'll be right back to show you what I did. Okay, so we've done the shoulder seams here. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead. I like to go ahead and quarter up my neck band here. So you're gonna to want to make a snip in the back of the neck band here. So you know where that point goes, right here in the back of the neck band. And then I like to go ahead and then take my back piece here and then make a point in the middle as well. All right, that's an extra step. You don't have to do that. I just find it's easier to quarter up your, we're not really gonna quarter up, we're gonna like do halves, technically. <laughs> So what you're gonna to need to do now, and then I also did the um, cuff piece. So what you did, what I did at least, was this was the back piece here. Scoot that up. This was the back piece. And I laid the front piece right sides together here. Did a uh, serge stitch there, and I laid the other side of the front piece here, and then did um, a serge stitch. So it creates this kind of like infinity loop. It's just a big loop for your cuffs. And so then what you'll do, of course, You'll need some pins. This just kind of helps get everything prepared. I like to go ahead and fold my cuffs for my seam. It's going the same way, so it's not gonna be bulky. I have to go ahead and pin where this seam was here on the cuff, connecting the front and the back pieces together of the cuff here. All right. So then that's what we're left with there. And then what I like to do is I like to go ahead and make a point on this back cuff piece. I'm gonna match up my seams here, my two points that I just made. And then I'm going to find the middle and snip a point. And that's what I'll match up to that back point that we made. Make sure you make the point on both sides of the cuff. All right. And you're gonna do the same thing for this part of the cuff here. So you're gonna find the middle 
because that's going to be what goes on the back of the neck here, making sure those are still lined up. And then you're going to make this point here, and that's what's going to line up on the back of the neck. So this cuff piece is pretty much ready. Let's put the sleeves on here. So what you'll do is you'll open this up. Um, if you've watched my videos that you know that I typically do an inset sleeve, I'm going to be doing um, not an inset sleeve this time. We're going to be applying the sleeve on the flat just because I find it easier with the sleeve um, shape. So what you're going to need to do when you have your sleeve, you'll see that one edge of the sleeve is flat, one edge of the sleeve is round. The round edge is the edge that's going to go onto the sleeve, to the arm side. So what you're going to do is snip this point here on both sleeves. You want to make sure that you know what the middle point of your sleeve is here so that you can match it up with your shoulder seams. So let's grab two pins. And remember, right sides together. Find that point that you just made. Match it up to the shoulder seam here. Pin it so you know where to go. And then pretty much you can choose to pin it if you want to, but I just make sure that I pull it to this and pull it to this when I'm surging, surging it on. Same thing with this one. The snip point that we made goes right here. All right, and then I'll pull it this over here and this over here, and you're gonna surge these on right now. You can go over the serger for now because I'm pretty much done here. I'm bringing my cuffs with me. I'm bringing the long cut, the, the cuff with me that goes all the way around. I'm bringing this over here and we'll finish it up at the serger and then finish off with top stitching, which is optional. Um, you don't have to do that. I like to do it because it lays the band down. So let's go over to the serger. All right, so we're at my serger. I need to clean this thing. Goodness. <laughs> all right, so what I like to do, I like to do 3.5, 3.5, 4.5, and 4.5 for pretty much everything. Occasionally, I will um, change it up if I find it's not working properly for the fabric. But, all right, so for the cuffs, I've already folded these. I'm going to put the folded edge in. I like to lift my presser foot. Put it in there underneath the blade and go ahead and hold it steady. To make my cuff piece here. Don't cut your tails too short because they're easier to unravel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make my two points here. And then flip my cuff out. That's a perfectly good cuff there. And now I've had it um, basically to where I can make it easier to um, put the cuff onto the cardigan. Same thing with the other cuff. Folded edge in first. Flip it out, and then you have your cuff piece again, and now it's perfectly good to go on there. So we've got this one done, the big cuff piece. So now we're just needing to serge the um, sleeves on here. So what you do is you'll pull it, or you can pin it. Just remember to mo remove your pins. Pull your sleeve over to match up. Make sure everything's still lined up. You have to pull it just a little bit. So we're getting to our pin, remove it, and then just pull this down to match up here. Pull it tight enough just so that it fits, or just so that it lays flat. Don't, don't stretch too much or you will get waviness, especially with waffle. All right, so that sleeve is on there. So now when you flip this sleeve out, uh, the sleeve is on there perfectly, as you can see. Um, so let's do the other side real fast, and then we will just do the, the, all the side seams from the sleeve down to the bottom. Let's go ahead and get this other sleeve done really fast. Okay, so then what you're going to do is, of course, pull everything back to where it is, like this. All right, so then you're gonna pull your cardigan in like this, and all that's left is to make sure your sleeves are folded now here. Match your um, sleeve seams up from the front and the back, and then you're gonna serge all the way down, matching up on this side, and the same thing for this side. You just bring everything back together and serge this entire side seam all the way down. I'm not going to forget this time if you guys have ever watched me sometimes i'll forget to move the camera back i'm not forgetting today 
I'm determined. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start right here. And then um, when I get a little closer, I like to just make sure that these two seams are matching up for my sleeve here. Um, it just makes it easier. And so you're gonna make sure that you get those seams in the seam here. So that's the whole thing there. I'm gonna cut my tails just a little shorter. All right, and then we're gonna do the other side real fast as well. I'm gonna start on the sleeve this time. It really doesn't matter which way you start because you're adding a cuff to either end. Um, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so the last part here is really adding the cuffs the really long cuff and the these cuffs. So what I like to do now that I have the sleeve done, this is the sleeve, I'm gonna snip this part, this spurt. <laughs> I meant to say part and spot, <laughs> and so I said spurt. <laughs> I know you guys do that too, right? I'm not the only one. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and snip that point. We'll say that one, point right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one because that's what we're gonna uh, match up our cuffs with. So I'm going to go ahead and do the cuffs, just get those over with. So here's the cuff. What you're going to do is put this. I like to go ahead and match this seam up with this seam. So I'm going to put it in there like that. I'm going to stick this in here. So I flipped my cuffs out too, by the way. So this is the right side of the cuff that you're seeing. I'm going to put it into here. So basically it's right sides together. I'm going to nest my seam here, which for anyone who doesn't know what that means, it just means that if the cuff seam is going this way. I'm gonna put this seam going this way. It just makes that a less bulky seam there. And then I'm just going to match up my points that I made, the two points on the cuff and the one point on the actual garment. And then so there we go, we have that. You'll stretch just enough, you'll stretch the cuff just enough so that it lays flat on the opening. Do the same thing with the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and get it ready. And then you'll just surge on the inside in the circle, and it's really easy. I'm going to go ahead and stick this into the serger, making sure that all three edges, the two edges of the cuff and the one edge of the actual sleeve, are matched up. Make sure that if you have pins, remove them before they go under the knife. to do I just go over it and try to keep it away from the knife when I go over it you can turn your knife off if that's not easy for you to do um, you can turn your knife off as you go over it so that you don't cut your serge seam that you've already done this is a knit picker you can get it from Waywalk I hope you can see it knit picker from Waywalk it has this little hooky thing on the end of it. it has a hook on the end and then it has this little latch that you open then you stick this in the middle of the seam here stick it in and then you poke it out about the place where the tail starts grab your tail wrap it around so that the hook catches it close this latch and pull it through and then snip your excess off and that is how you secure a serger tail so that cuff is on there and it's good to go cuffs on there good to go okay so let's do the other one really fast It. that's going to be on there forever okay so now we're gonna add this big cuff piece which they call a band a um, short band or whatever you want to call it we're gonna add that okay so here's what it looks like now you've got your cuffs on you've got your side seams done so it's pretty much done 
um, except for the fact that you need to add a band to it. What you'll do here, unroll this beautiful bean footage here. <laughs> All right, and so remember, this is the back piece, which is shorter than the front piece. That's what's gonna go in the back. And by that, I mean this piece. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fold this thing um, right side out. I'm gonna go ahead and make this right side out. Right side out. All right, so here's the cardigan. Right side out, cardigan, and now we're gonna add the band. So the front middle piece that we snipped is gonna go here, and the back middle piece is gonna go on the bottom part of the cardigan here. So here's the bottom part. This is the side, this is the side. This is the bottom part. So I have snipped a point right here in the middle, right here. And I have snipped a point right here in the middle back piece, which is that shorter piece. And you're gonna put it right sides together. And then add your cuff. I'm adding it to the outside of the garment turned right side out. So it will be right sides together. This is the wrong side. This is the right side of the garment. And I'm putting the cuff down like this. All right, and so then these pieces here that we that we um, put together here, making that, sure that seam was going the correct way, you're gonna put them on this seam. And again, I like to nest my seam, which simply means make sure one seam's going that way and one seam's going that way to make this less bulky. And this is just the tail here sticking out, so it'll cut it off with the serger. So again, this side over here, do the same thing with the bottom. Uh, this is the cardigan here seam. This is the cuff seam here that we already pinned. Also make sure that nothing's like, you know, um, folded over. Because it would really suck to figure that out as you've already sewn some of your cuff on. All right, so that's the bottom piece. So now what we're gonna do is fold this down. I'm just gonna go ahead, move everything out of the way so it doesn't fall on the floor. <laughs> Let's get that over so you guys can see better. All right, so pretty much what you're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this this way. All right. So this is the back piece here. You're gonna wanna make sure that your cuff piece is going in the correct circle. So you wanna make sure there's no folds, no twist in your cuff piece when you lay it down on the back. Whole bunch of fuzz on here <laughs> all right so here's the back neck oop can't see it the back neck is right here so these are the shoulder seam shoulder seam back neck so i had made a snip on the front of the neck band in the middle which is right here and i'm going to match it up to the back of the neck band which is right here and i'm going to pin that then what i like to do is pull it just a little bit I mean, like, just a little bit, like, literally. Just a little bit over, gently, and put a pin right here on the shoulder seam. Pull it over just gently, making sure that your edges are still lined up. Gently pull it over to about right here. And that's all I pin, because I like to go ahead and just um, feel where it needs to go on the edge here. So make sure your sleeves are out of the way because you don't want to surge those up into your cuff. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and start on this bottom piece here. This is the bottom um, side seam. I did it again. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start on this side seam here, which is the side seam. There's the cuff right there on the outside of the garment, cuff piece here. And I'm gonna start on the this part, just making sure that the one piece from your piece from your garment which is the cardigan and then your piece, your two pieces your two raw edges are all lined up so you're going to need to remember to remove your pins and make sure you're catching everything in your seam so always make sure that your two raw edges of your cuff and your one raw edge of the actual cardigan is still lining up Middle back now. Keep 
I'm going, making sure everything's still lined up. If you need to add more pins, absolutely do that. Just remember to remove them as you go. Pin. All right, so this is the part where it gets interesting because I don't really pin here. Um, so make sure that your sleeve, again, is inside and that your cuff piece here, I like to go ahead and just kind of walk it down to where I see how the cuff piece is going to fit on this curved piece. And so I know kind of where to hold it. You're not gonna to need to stretch this really at all. Um, it, it lines up almost perfectly with the edge. You just need to make sure that your, you know, your pieces are staying together and still lined up as you sew. That's the most important part here. So we're almost to this part here. So we're going to remove this point here. And then when we get to the middle um, neck, that's when you're going to make sure to add your tag. So if you're compliant, which if you're selling or gifting, you need to be compliant. So you need to be adding your tags to your garments. It's really important. So here's my tag. It's a fold in tag, a fold sew in tag. So I'm going to remove this pin. And I know that this is my middle. And you're just making sure again that all your pieces are still lining up. And like I said, they, um, Side pieces here, I kind of just walk it up, holding it. I make sure everything's still lined up, holding it. And like I said, you're not gonna need to stretch this really at all. So it fits perfectly if you just kind of walk it up and feel the pieces that need to be put together. Make sure that your three edges are still lined up. It's really easy for them to move, so make sure you're paying attention to that. Even if you're a pretty, you know, um, seasoned seamstress or sewer, um, make sure you're paying attention to that because it can really shift from you, and then you'll have, you know, part of your cuff piece not on there. All right, we're getting to this last curve here. piece here again go over it all right so then when you get to it what you will do is again tuck your tail in there and this little tool is like I think 99 cents maybe so grab a few of them because they're really easy to break <laughs> I speak from experience all right, so let's look at this thing before we top stitch it, and I'll show you why I top stitch it. One, because Waffle is a fickle creature. <laughs> and two, because I feel like it lays a lot better. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch it. So as you can see, mine's kind of wavy. You can give it a good press if you want to. Um, but what I'm going to do is top stitch it because I feel like it never fails me. So let's go over to the sew machine. But pretty much you're done. If you don't want to top stitch, you don't have to. Um, but I like to top stitch because it gives it that pizzazz. <laughs> okay, so at the sewing machine, I've got mustard thread in here. I'm just going to do a little bit lengthened straight stitch. 
So my straight stitch is going to be 3.5 width by 3.5 length. I have automatic tension machine, so I really don't know much about tension. I'm thankful for that. But if you need a question or you, <laughs> if you have a question about tension, check your manual per the fabric type you're using and they should be able to let you know um, what you need to do. All right. All right, so what you're going to do is go ahead and fold the seam away from the band. So I'm going to fold the seam down this way and the band's going this way. And I'm just going to top stitch the seam down all the way around, starting in the back neck, making sure that my tag is down, making sure that the seam is going this way facing you guys and that the band is going this way. All right, almost back to the back, which is right here. And then you'll just overlap where you started. Make sure this tag that you got under here isn't like flip flop the type of way. Back stitch where you started. Pull it out and snip your tails. And let's go look at this thing finished. Just to kind of show you guys what it looks like. Oh, a little bit better. Maybe. Then I could hold it. And so that's what it looks like. It's super cute. Sleeves with the cuffs. Um, that's the back of it. Alright. Super cute. I love this pattern. I love it on. Because you'll see the cover photo or the thumbnail photo will have a picture of Everly, our daughter, wearing it. Um, but super cute, super slouchy, super nice. There is a you know option for pockets. I leave them off because it's really simple. And um, when you're selling something, you want to make sure you can do it at a high volume. And when you add all these details to it, yes, it looks you know cute, but you have to be logical with what you can get out. And so that's why we don't add pockets to ours. But these are super cute. There is pocket options. I believe there's two different pocket options. But they're cute. You can do elbow patches too in like a different um, contrasting print. Super cute. Hope you guys love this video. Hope you guys um, enjoyed it. Hope it helped you out. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Hit the post notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any of our videos. We have a lot of people that um, miss out on videos because they don't have the post notifications done. So make sure you click that little bell and YouTube will notify you whenever we post a video. So you won't miss anything. Um, we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.